Frequently when you copy a report into Excel from another program, it comes over in a layout that looks similar to this, where um, data that's redundant is not repeated so that it functions like a heading and it makes it easier for people to read the report. But once you've got it in Excel, if you want to do things like use the subtotal function, um, or if you want to resort it or filter it, then you're going to need that data on every line of this table. And going through and filling that in can be a pretty tedious process on a, on a large spreadsheet. But fortunately, there's a way you can combine uh, just a few Excel tricks and turn this into a really quick and easy process. The first thing you need to do is to select just the empty cells. So if you press uh, Control G for Go To on your keyboard, or you can use the F5 key, once the Go To window comes up, click the Special button, and then choose Blanks, click OK, and now you've selected just the blank cells. Now in some cases, maybe if you had deleted some lines at the bottom, you might be getting um, extra rows, or you might be getting blank cells outside of the range you wanted selected. In that case, um, you would just need to go through ahead of time, select uh, you know, your range, and then go through that same process of uh, control G, special, blanks, and then you'll get just the ones that you wanted. Now the next step is to enter a formula into all those cells at once. So with them still highlighted, you're going to type an equal sign and press the up arrow key. That's our formula, uh, just to point to the cell above it. Now the key here uh, is, this is what this all revolves around, is press, hold down the control key and then press enter, and that's going to fill that formula into all those selected cells at once. So at this point the data looks good. Uh, but if you, uh, say, sorted it or did something like that to rearrange it, you'd cause problems because we still have formulas in each of these cells just pointing to the row above it. So now we need to convert those formulas to values. Um, so go ahead and select those columns, or uh, you could do a control A to select you know, all. Um, just be, be aware that any formulas in this range that we copy is going to be converted to its value. So um, don't don't copy formulas that you want to keep. So we got those selected. We're going to choose copy. Then we're going to go back to paste special and values. And now you can see that those have been switched from from formulas to the result of those formulas. And that's it. It's as easy as that. Um, now one little thing that can trip people up that I want to show you here. Um, let's go back through our process. We'll go to special blanks and then put in our formula, control enter, and you'll see instead of you know a normal formula, we're actually getting that text equals A2 everywhere. A common thing when you copy a report in from another program is that the cells all get formatted as text. And if you look up here, you can see it's telling us that they're all text formatted. So let's undo that, and then we'll just select our whole worksheet, switch it over to general, and now if we go through that same process again, put in the formula equals up arrow, control enter, you can see that it works just as expected. So there you go, a great tip that uh, really can convert what would have been hours worth of work into just a few keystrokes.